Okay, so let's uh, see how we can calculate the pressure change or use the fact that the pressure change is rho GH uh, to answer some questions, find some um, things here. So look at this problem. We've got a, um, a gauge and manometer are attached to a gas tank to measure its pressure. So uh, here we have a pressure gauge, uh, but another way to, to measure pressure is a manometer. A manometer is just a small, thin um, um, <clears throat> a cylinder filled with fluid um, that can be shaped like a U or things like that. And so the height of the fluid helps tell its pressure. Okay, the height of the fluid in a manometer helps to tell its pressure. Um, <clears throat> Alright, so if this one, um, if the pressure in the tank is 80 kPa, determine this distance H between the two fluid levels of the manometer if the fluid is mercury. Um, and then we will look at, okay, what if the fluid was water? Mercury has that density, water, that distance, density. Okay, uh, so we know the pressure right here is 80 kPa. The pressure uh, of the gauge is 80 kPa. Uh, so what is the pressure right here? The pressure right here is still 80 kPa approximately uh, because we're going to say that the pressure change due to height of a gas uh, is negligible. So maybe you might want to say 80 plus this rho GH, but the rho of this gas, and doesn't even tell us what gas it is, is much, much less than the rho of either water or mercury. <clears throat> All right, so if we know right here that the pressure right here, P1, right here at that point is, is 80 kPa, then when we change fluids from the gas to the liquid, it's still 80 kPa. So the pressure right here is 80 kPa. So I'm going to start right here. This is how I like to do these problems. I'm going to start at 80 kPa, and then I'm going to go straight up here. All right, it doesn't matter that we went down and over. It just matters the height that we, that we start and the height that we end. We're going from this level up to that level, right? So if we're going up, we subtract rho GH. So I'm going to subtract rho GH. All right, what is rho GH? Rho, so first let's, let's think about if this is mercury. Rho, 13,600 kilograms per meter cube. That's my rho. My G is 9.81 meters per second squared. And my height, is, that's what I'm looking for, H. That's what I'm looking for. So I started here, I went up, so I subtract rho GH, and then I, I end up at, so when I say I end up at, that's, you know, my equal sign, right? I start here, I go up, I end, I end, equal sign, I end where? At what is the pressure right up here? Well, it's open to atmospheric pressure. What is atmospheric pressure? Well, you know, it's, you could, you, we could atmospheric pressure is is something, but <clears throat> okay, this was the gauge reading. So what is the gauge pressure up here? It's zero. All right. So this is not at absolute pressure. This is the gauge pressure. So I'm going to put zero here because everything is in gauge pressure. This is the gauge pressure of the atmosphere. If this had been telling me the absolute pressure, then I would need to put 101 kPa as my absolute pressure of the atmosphere. But because this was our gauge pressure over here, because this is gauge pressure over here, I need gauge pressure over here, and the gauge pressure of atmosphere is zero. If you were to take an atmosphere, you know, take a, a reading, uh, it'd be zero because there's no pressure change. Um, if you took a pressure gauge and tried to read the atmospheric pressure, right, it would tell us zero. Uh, so here, uh, we can just solve for H. So let me make sure, look, let me look at my units. Oh, sorry, here. Let me look at my units here. All right, I have KPA right here. And I have, all right, let's see here. I have... Q 
kilogram meter per second squared, a kilogram meter per second squared, that is a Newton. So if this height is in meters, in meters cubed, so I've got Newtons, I've got meters, meters cubed. So, so over all, all this over here is Newton per meter squared. Uh, that is not equal to a kp. I can't just add this up right here. Uh, a newton per meter squared is equal to a pa, right? A pascal. Uh, so this, let me change this. 80,000 pa is equal to, yeah. All right, so let me do the math. 80,000 minus 13, 600, 9.81 h equals zero. Solve for h. h.60 meters h.60 meters okay be careful with your units but if everything's kilogram meters meters per second squared meters cubed meters then that is not kpa but that is pa if everything is kilograms meters meters per second meters you know all the standard si units then then my pressure is in pa pascals Okay, so the height of the fluid in the manometer, in the manometer would be 0.6 meters if the fluid was a, a pretty dense mercury. But what if the fluid was water? What, what do you kind of think? Would, it be, would this height need to be a lot higher or lower? Well, let's see. Let's do the same thing. Let's start right here. If the pressure right here is 80 kPa, let's go ahead and say 80,000 Pa. And now I am going up still, going up. But now I've got a thousand right here, rho GH, right? A thousand is my rho, my G is 9.81, my H is H, and still open to atmosphere. So here the height would be 8.16 meters. Does that make sense? Well, yeah, the density was a lot less. And so to get from 80 kPa to zero, it, you would need a lot of height um, to get that change in pressure, rho GH. See, that's why we use mercury. Well, thermometer is a little bit different, uh, but mercury is so dense that a change in height of mercury, um, you, you'd only need a small change in height of mercury for 80 kPa. You need a large change in height of water for um, 80 kPa of water. Okay, but let's take a step back and let's look at what we did. We started at this point and we went to this point. Since we went up, we took our starting point, subtract rho GH equals our ending point. And gauge pressure is the pressure compared to absolute pressure. So the if something is open to atmosphere, its gauge pressure is zero. Let me reiterate that. If something is open to atmosphere, its pressure right there, its gauge pressure right there, is equal to zero. 